Hey, this is Mike Moo again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to remove Symantec or Norton product from your Mac. Norton Internet Security, Norton Antivirus. Okay, so I went in ahead and looked online to find it. It was not as easy as you would think. So first thing is there's this one special way to remove it. If you're having problems, chances are if you're watching this video, you, maybe you've tried removing it. It wasn't completely cleaned. And uh, here's the actual instructions from... The website itself so you actually open up your norton product go up to the top click on norton security it's right by the apple menu under norton security you can choose uninstall norton security right here and remove it and just click on uninstall let it do its thing this doesn't apply to chrome notice that if you have chrome and you use the chrome extensions you have to go separately into google chrome to remove these and then you go ahead and type in your password over there and let it do its uninstall thing. I'm usually very paranoid about uh, this type of thing. And so after I do this, I'm going to go ahead and download these tools right here separately to remove and make sure those are completely cleared out. So that's it. That's all you got to do to remove uh, Norton security from your system. And, um, you know, if that's all you want to do, that's exactly how you do it. A um, little bit of backstory about why I'm doing this is because I've been getting a bunch of Norton, uh, I've been getting some Norton related panic problems and uh, kernel panic. And this is the panic report that I got. And I found out that this is has to do with the anti malware solutions that are within Norton security causing this problem. And it's usually because of APIs that are not properly signed or accordingly to what is required for Apple. So so, you know, in, in my course of uh, security consulting, I definitely test a bunch of different antivirus, anti-malware solutions. And unfortunately, uh, at this point in time, which is July 2017, I'm going to say I'm going to have to pass on the Norton solution for the Mac because of this error. All right. Now, in the future, they may fix it. And that does happen. Um, but, uh, but, you know, if you're running a big corporate environment or you're running an office where you have multiple users, this is not something that you want. Um, I've already lost some work as a result of this kernel panic. So off it goes. And that concludes my testing of this. So part two of the thorough removal allows you to go ahead and run the tools to actually do more thorough cleaning. Um, as uh, linked down below, there's actually some files about removing Symantec uh, Mac files. And if you open that up, you'll be able to open up a command prompt, which you'll have to open by right clicking and choose open because it's got to give you a little bit of warning to let you know that this was uh, downloaded off the Internet, and whether or not you trust it. All right. So um, when you run it, you got to you got to type in your admin password. It'll go through and it explains the script about that it will remove all the files and folders created by Symantec OS 10 products, except the Symantec administration console for Mac. And um, it's just to let you know. So you have two options. One is to remove all of them or two is to quit, not to remove it. And when I chose one, this is after running the uninstall in the first portion of the video, you will see that uh, that a lot of these things were already removed. Okay, so that's why it's going to let you know what was removed, what was unsuccessful, and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So it did remove additional things that were left behind by the original install, which is the reason why I'm running this tool again. And then after you're done, you should really restart. So, um, so the process completes, and it'll give you a little warning, let you know whether or not you want to restart. I said no, so that I re record this section for you. Okay, so that's it. Hope this was helpful to 